Now, if for some reason you ever, you know, decide to wake up a sleeping giant panda or cuddle it, just remember, that's a bad idea. Even fearless big cats like snow leopards are wary of bothering pandas in the wild. The ones you see in the zoo might not be that active, but they still have a massive jaw that can deliver a powerful bite. Their huge false thumb lets them get a good grip on their enemies. The most misleading thing about the leopard seal is its mouth, which always appears to be smiling. But they're actually rather aggressive animals and effective lone hunters. They like to play cat and mouse with their food, which includes penguins, fish, squid, and even smaller seals. Not so long ago, a leopard seal even dragged a marine biologist deep underwater. Hey, stop playing with your food! Ant eaters feed on insects, citrus fruit, and avocados. Watch out! They have no teeth, poor vision, and bad hearing. Sounds kind of like my Uncle Rudy. They aren't aggressive and stay away from people. But if humans walk on their trails, ant eaters can turn fierce and may fight. They get on their hind legs, use their tails for balance, and attack with their claws that are strong enough to hurt a jaguar or a land rover. Fluffy alpacas may seem warm-hearted, but they still have ways of defending themselves. They can spit up to 10 feet, and you don't want that stuff getting in your eyes because it contains stomach acid, along with chewed-up grass. They can bite with their sharp fighting teeth that are at the back of their mouths, and they have soft toes to give enemies a good kick. They can't really do more damage than you might get in a fight with a child, but it's best not to upset them. There are three things that brings out the nasty side of a Tasmanian devil. When there's a predator nearby, when they're competing for a mate, and when they're protecting their meal. Also Bugs Bunny, but that's a cartoon. These guys normally feed on insects, birds, frogs, and fish, and they like scavenging more than hunting. But if you intrude upon their home for any reason, be prepared for a painful bite. Their teeth are strong enough to eat through bones. Elephants are so clever that they understand the feelings of other elephants, and they even try to help each other. They can also take revenge on people who upset them. Elephants sometimes block roads and show up in the villages of people who have been mean to them. Male elephants get especially aggressive when fighting over females. Watch out for those huge feet, they can really do some damage. Better pack your trunk! Puffer fish can inflate to several times their normal size to protect themselves against predators. Hey, my brother-in-law can do that too. Eh, just kidding. Most animals shouldn't try eating them anyways. There's enough poison inside them to finish off 30 people, and there's no antidote. So, if it's just you, you'll need to invite some friends along to spread out the poison. Nah, I just made that up. Swans tend to see humans as the biggest danger to their homes and families. Male swans get especially aggressive during the spring nesting season from April to June. When kayakers, rowers, or anglers get too close to their nests, swans start hissing and flapping their wings. If you don't pay attention to these warning signs, the swan might even try to flip your boat over. Dolphins are the only species on the planet, apart from humans, that can take another creature's life for no logical reason. Males sometimes attack female dolphins or even baby ones, and they don't do it for food. If an angry dolphin chases you, you have no chance of outswimming it. They can move at 22 miles per hour. The top speed of Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps is only 6 miles per hour, so he can't help you. Slow lorises are the only venomous primates in the world. They carry poison in their elbows. It's transferred to their mouths during grooming to protect their babies. Plus, they scare off predators like pythons and eagle hawks using special markings that show how fearsome they are. If a slow loris bites a person who ends up on its territory or annoys it, the result can be rashes, anaphylactic shock, or, you know, even worse. Despite their massive weight and clumsy bodies, hippos can run much faster than people. And they have much sharper teeth. If you get in their way on their trip to the watering hole, their aggression kicks in. Before they attack you, though, they'll give you some warning signs. If you see a hippo yawn or make a sound like a laugh, it means it's about to get mad. Well, that's rather confusing, isn't it? 
Blue-ringed octopuses are really tiny, but their venom is a thousand times stronger than cyanide. They normally use it to hunt shrimp, crabs, and small fish. If this creature feels threatened, it'll flash its blue rings as a warning. If you don't pay attention, it may bite you. You might not notice the bite itself, but minutes later, you'll definitely notice the symptoms. Nausea, numbness, and even the loss of your senses and motor skills. So pay attention down there. Geographic cone snails are a seriously dangerous critter. They puncture their victims with a tooth that's like a harpoon, and then inject their venom. If a small cone attacks you, it'll just feel like a bee sting. If you're unlucky enough to meet a larger one, though, it could cause numbing, swelling, muscle paralysis, changes to your vision, and even breathing difficulties. Canada geese have been living close to humans for years, but they're still wary of us getting near their homes, especially during the spring mating season. At this time, the male geese can chase and bite people that seem like a threat to their mates, eggs, or babies. If you want to avoid being attacked by this seriously angry bird, the best thing you can do is just slowly back away. Squirrels have a lot of enemies, both in the wild and in cities. Their superpower against all of them is their speed and agility. Most of the time, it's completely safe to go near them. But they can still be unpredictable like any wild animal. They go on biting sprees occasionally. And watch out, they carry infections like rabies. They're more likely to go after your pets or kids, but they can also bite adults. So, to play it safe, always walk behind your pets or kids to use them as decoys. Of course I'm kidding. If you ever see a kangaroo get up on its hind legs, back off. This is their way of warning you that they think you're a threat to their females or their food. They are real pros at boxing with each other, and they have really long legs and sharp claws. Kangaroos jump into the air to give extra force to their kicks, which are powerful enough to break bones. A platypus doesn't have teeth, and it mainly eats insects and shellfish. It's one of only two mammals that lay eggs. But these strange things can still do you harm. Male platypuses have sharp spurs hidden on the heels of their hind feet. There's venom in these spurs that's strong enough to take down a dog. Koalas get most of their hydration from eating eucalyptus leaves, and they get all the protection they need from their sharp teeth and claws. When a koala scratches someone that wants to cuddle them a little too hard, they can pass on some unpleasant infections. <laughs> Raccoons can easily adapt to any environment, including your backyard. They rarely attack humans directly, but can damage your property and make you sick. They'll go anywhere to get some food, from trash cans to bird nests. And this is where they can catch a lot of different infections. Apart from disease, raccoons can give humans nasty wounds that take a long time to heal. When it thinks you're threatening its dam, a beaver will start slapping the water with its tail as a warning sign. If you ignore it, it'll try to use its sharp teeth against you to protect its family. So, it's better to just leave it to beaver. Hey, there's a special knife you can use to protect yourself against attack called a beaver cleaver. No wait, that's an old TV show. Otters spend a lot of their time swimming on their backs, and they don't care about cleaning up after themselves. That's why they leave behind bits of fish that attract insects carrying diseases. Apart from being so messy, they also have powerful teeth that can be used against any unwanted visitor. Cassowaries are the most dangerous birds on the planet. One of these can weigh as much as an adult person, and it has long, powerful legs and sharp claws. They can chase after you at 30 miles per hour. Luckily enough, they try to avoid fights. But if you don't want to be the target of their karate moves, keep a safe distance and don't provoke them. Got that? Good.